contest buildings are. Coming up on the bridge here on the right hand side are the train tracks that bring the commuter trains down to Suburban Station and the Reading Terminal Market. If you look it up here on the right hand side, you can see the 30th Street train station there. That's where you catch Amtrak today. 30th Street train station was built in the 1930s. But I also like to point it out just simply because 30th Street itself was the west end of the original William Penn City. And we have other transportation underground on Market Street in front of us. The Market Frankfurt elevated train run on, just runs underground. It's underground in Center City, but we still call it the L. Underneath Broad Street oh. is the Broad Street subway line. There's trolleys that come underground. I'll try to release Philadelphia mm. traffic problems. And all big cities have traffic problems, yes, of course, they all big do. cities don't have what we have, and that is that big building right in the middle of our two main streets, Broad and um, Market. When we left Reading Terminal Market, we were on the east side of Market Street. Now we'll be on the west side of Market Street. We're heading east, though, we're going to have city walk. A lot of food, a lot of shopping in this area. A lot of Pants Market Street is Chestnut and Walnut Street. Shopping, very eclectic, everything from dollar stores to very high end shopping. And the same thing with the food, everything from um, pizza and tacos to some very fine dining restaurants and loads and loads up of things in between, all mixed together. It's Philadelphia, we're a little mixy, mixy that way. On this side of City Hall, the west side of City Hall, there's a large plaza. In the summer, we're kind of in between things now. In the summertime, they have this singing sound. It's 150. South Florida going up and down to splash around it. Easily turned off when they want to do something on the plaza. But in the winter time, instead of the fountain, they have a ice skating rink in the Philadelphia Gardens. Who want to build up his own carousels right in the middle of the courtyard at Ferris Wheel on the north side, which is the left side. I'll go to that one. It ain't public. It's just a bank building on the left hand side. I kind of like this. There's so much stonework on the bottom. Oh. It's not just all glass. I like to point that out because the old building sits between the two Comcast buildings. I'm just glad they didn't tear the old building down. And if you look once again on the left hand side, on the other side of the Mellon Bank building, you'll see the first Comcast building like a giant mirror. And Reflected all the way around there, around the, I don't know anything about that. But once again, this building was completed in 1987, soon after that, Liberty 2 on Sky Island, and the children on the other side. And they went for a stop 18 West Market Street, folks. You're not 18. Huh. Nobody is. Uh huh. So, right now, I'm not really sure what's going on. Here.
City Hall and saw a most of us on the north side. There's always one pigeon, never two, oh, only yeah. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the third part, you know, like this, uh, well, on the left-hand side, the statue is called, oh, excuse me, I'm going to call it, it's Octavius Cato, a 19th century civil rights activist. His story does not end well, I don't want to tell you a lie before I tell you it. He did all kinds of things. He integrated our horse and trolley cars, he helped found Cheney University, he helped Frederick Douglass recruit for um, the Union Army. He himself was a major in the Union Army, as part of the Is that the Yep, uh huh, sure is. He actually was assassinated on election day in 1971. The building that looks like the Parthenon, the Ritz Carlton, although originally it was a Stephen Gerard Bank, the Ritz Carlton moved in in the 1980s. On the right hand side, the brick and brownstone is the Union League of Philadelphia, established in 1862 or founded in 1862. Abraham Lincoln was supposed to be here to inaugurate the building, but he was assassinated in less than a week and a half before the date. Stop 19, anyone for Broad and Walnut or Stop 19? Not 20 yet. The Bellevue's been around a long time. It's still a hotel. Lots of old time presidents and movie stars stayed here. One very interesting man named Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker said he was inspired by the black people and the men going to the opera. Wait till we get there. We do have people for Stop 19, please. He was inspired by the black people and the men going to the opera house, inspired to write the book. Dracula? We do have people getting off at 19, please, Joe. So Across the street were, on the left hand side is a building used by the University of Georgia. This was no, the Ritz Carlton Hotel originally in Philadelphia until they moved over I did, to the I have done that. in the 1980s. Bill, please watch your stuff, folks. Yeah, they have a different system for that. Uh huh. Yeah, I had to do that for a mobile, the tallest building in Alabama. Beautiful building on. on the inside of your round step in, the shops on the first floor, all kinds of, it's all marble. Thank you oh, for watching this step, everybody. So, Graham Stoker actually used stationery from this building to write notes. He didn't write the book directly here in Philadelphia, but he was indeed inspired, claiming so himself. And the Black Cave either. men were going to the Opera House, which is in the very next block, the Academy of Music. The Academy of Music opened in 1857. It has been the oldest continually operating Opera House since that time. They never closed, not doing any of the wars, not doing all the things that they broke this time. Thank you very much. And they, uh, I think this building, the people that run this building, this organization, this institution, I think are very cool. And this is why. It's hard to keep an old theater open. Although they have opera, they have Broadway shows, they do what they need to do to keep the building open. They'll have, because they're not, they're not shy, they're willing to be humble. They'll have comedians, they'll have graduations, they'll have small music reviews, whatever it takes, which I think is cool. Next to it, the Marion Theater used to be a Schubert Theater. Schubert Theater is used to be all over the country. Across the street on the left-hand side is the Woman Theater, making more off of art like shows. And then across the street on the right-hand side, this large building with a glass stone is the Giggle Center. Over in 2005, it's the home of the Philadelphia Orchestra.